Hello friends, welcome back to AV Views. I'm Sophie, your host, and today we're exploring why dogs lick affectionately. Joining me is Matthew. Let's dive into the fascinating world of canine behavior. Today, we have an intriguing topic to explore that has puzzled many of us. Why do dogs lick our faces? Ah, those slobbery, wet kisses that both warm our hearts and leave us reaching for a towel. But have you ever wondered what drives our furry companions to shower us with these affectionate licks? So, grab a cozy seat, snuggle up with your four-legged friend, and let's embark on this captivating journey together. But before we unveil the secrets behind those licks, let's take a moment to consider the evolutionary background of our canine friends. Dogs, as we know them today, share a remarkable ancestry with wolves, their wild predecessors. Thousands of years of evolution have shaped dogs into the lovable and devoted companions we cherish. So, how does this evolutionary history relate to their affectionate licking behavior? Let's find out. Wolves, known for their social structures, use licking as a form of communication. Dogs, descended from wolves, still retain many pack instincts, including licking. When our dogs lick our faces, it's their way of extending their wolf heritage and forming a deep connection with us. When our canine companions shower us with licks, it's their way of extending their wolf heritage and forming a deep connection with us. Dogs see us as their pack members, their family, and by licking our faces, they're displaying their affection and loyalty. It's a heartwarming gesture that reminds us of the strong bond we share with these incredible animals. When our canine companions shower us with licks, it's their way of extending their wolf heritage and forming a deep connection with us. Dogs see us as their pack members, their family, and by licking our faces, they're displaying their affection and loyalty. It's a heartwarming gesture that reminds us of the strong bond we share with these incredible animals. But affection isn't the only reason behind these wet kisses. Dogs have a remarkable ability to gather information through their senses, and their tongues are no exception. Join us in the next segment as we explore how dogs use licking as a means of gathering valuable information about their environment, their pack, and even their human companions. To understand why dogs lick our faces, we need to explore their evolutionary background and ancestral instincts. Descendants of wolves, dogs have retained pack dynamics and communication methods. Licking played a crucial role in the social structure of wolves, serving purposes like grooming, submission, and reinforcing hierarchy. As dogs evolved alongside humans, they brought these social instincts with them, modified to fit our households. When a dog licks your face, they instinctively try to recreate important social interactions from their ancestors. Licking is also influenced by the strong bond dogs develop with their human families. Dogs perceive their owners as pack members, and licking becomes a way to express affection and strengthen the emotional connection. Through generations of selective breeding and cohabitation, dogs have become attuned to human emotions and behaviors. Licking is their way of communicating love and devotion, bridging the gap between species and fostering togetherness. Next, we'll explore the specific ways dogs use licking as a means of affection and communication in the fascinating world of canine love languages. Ah, the slobbery kisses that melt our hearts and leave us grinning from ear to ear. But why do dogs show affection by licking our faces? In this segment, we're going to explore the deep emotional connection that drives this adorable behavior and how it strengthens the bond between humans and their furry companions. When a dog showers us with licks, it's their way of expressing pure love and affection. Dogs have an incredible capacity for empathy and emotional connection, and licking is one of their primary means of conveying these feelings. Licking is a gesture of trust, loyalty, and social bonding. It's a gesture of pure love and trust. Licking is their way of saying, you are important to me, and I want you to know that. It strengthens the bond between humans and dogs. But there's more to it than just a simple display of affection. The act of licking also triggers a release of feel-good hormones, both in the dog and in us, humans. Research has shown that when dogs lick us, it can lead to the release of oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone, which promotes feelings of bonding and happiness. So, when your dog showers you with those wet kisses, it's not only a demonstration of their love but also a mutually beneficial exchange of positive emotions. It's no wonder that these moments create such strong bonds between dogs and their human companions. 
As we've discovered, licking is a powerful language of love for dogs. It serves as a bridge between species, allowing them to express their feelings and create a profound connection with their human counterparts. In the next segment, we'll uncover another fascinating aspect of licking behavior, how dogs use licking to gather information about their environment and the people around them. Join us as we unveil the secrets behind their curious licks. Have you ever wondered why dogs insist on giving our faces a thorough lick? It turns out there's more to it than just affection. In this segment, we'll explore how dogs use their remarkable sense of taste and smell to gather valuable information through licking. Dogs possess an extraordinary sense of smell, with over 300 million olfactory receptors compared to our mere 6 million. But their sense of taste is equally remarkable. Their tongues are equipped with specialized taste buds that allow them to discern different flavors and even detect subtle chemical changes in their surroundings. When dogs lick our faces, they're collecting a treasure trove of information about us and their environment. Their tongues act as sensory detectors, providing them with insights that go beyond what our own senses can perceive. First and foremost, dogs can taste the saltiness of our skin. This taste, combined with the unique scent we emit, gives them a wealth of information about our identity, emotional state, and overall health. They can detect changes in our body chemistry, such as elevated stress levels or fluctuations in hormone levels. Furthermore, dogs can pick up on the subtlest of smells that linger on our skin. They can detect traces of food, other animals, or even potential dangers in the environment. This keen sense of smell helps them gather valuable information about their surroundings, ensuring their safety and alerting them to potential threats. But it's not just about us. Dogs use their tongues to explore and gather information about objects and surfaces they encounter. By licking, they can assess textures, tastes, and even detect if something is edible or harmful. It's their way of comprehending the world around them, much like how we use our hands to touch and feel. So, the next time your furry friend gives you a slobbery kiss, appreciate that they're not only expressing their love, but also gathering information about you and their environment. It's a fascinating display of their remarkable sensory abilities. In the upcoming segment, we'll delve into the importance of understanding excessive licking and how it can be an indication of underlying health issues or anxiety. Join us as we explore the behavioral considerations associated with excessive licking and discuss strategies to address and manage this behavior effectively. Don't go anywhere. There's still much more to uncover about why dogs lick our faces. Stay tuned for the continuation of our exploration into this adorable and intriguing behavior. While licking is a natural behavior for dogs, excessive or obsessive licking can be a cause for concern. In this segment, we'll shed light on the potential reasons behind excessive licking and discuss important behavioral considerations. Excessive licking can manifest in various forms, such as constant licking of paws, furniture, or even their own bodies. It's essential to understand that excessive licking can be an indication of underlying health issues or psychological distress. If you notice your dog engaging in persistent or compulsive licking, it's crucial to consult with a veterinarian. Medical conditions such as allergies, skin irritations, or gastrointestinal problems can lead to excessive licking as a way for dogs to alleviate discomfort or soothe themselves. In addition to physical ailments, excessive licking can also be a manifestation of anxiety or stress. Dogs may lick excessively as a coping mechanism to alleviate their emotional distress. Common triggers for anxiety in dogs include changes in their environment, separation anxiety, or traumatic experiences. Addressing excessive licking requires a holistic approach that focuses on both the underlying cause and modifying the behavior. Working closely with a veterinarian and a professional dog behaviorist can help develop a tailored plan for your furry friend. Positive reinforcement training techniques play a crucial role in redirecting excessive licking behaviors. By providing alternative activities, such as interactive toys or puzzle games, you can help distract and engage your dog's mind in a more positive and stimulating way. Consistency is key in managing excessive licking. Establishing clear boundaries and redirecting your dog's attention to appropriate behaviors will help them understand what is expected of them. It's important to remember that each dog is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. Patience, understanding, 
and observation are essential in determining the most effective strategies to address excessive licking in your dog. By addressing the underlying causes and implementing appropriate behavioral management techniques, you can help your furry companion overcome excessive licking and improve their overall well-being. In the final segment, we'll wrap up our exploration into the world of dog licking by summarizing the key insights we've discovered. Join us as we celebrate the special bond between humans and dogs and reflect on the joy and love they bring into our lives. Welcome to the final segment of our exploration into the intriguing behavior of dog licking. In this segment, we'll discuss the importance of training and effective methods for redirecting licking behavior to ensure a harmonious relationship with our furry friends. Training plays a vital role in shaping your dog's behavior and teaching them appropriate alternatives to excessive licking. Through positive reinforcement techniques, we can guide our dogs towards desirable behaviors and redirect their focus away from excessive licking. One effective method is to teach your dog an alternative behavior that is incompatible with licking. For example, you can train them to sit or give you their paw on command. By redirecting their attention and rewarding them for these alternate behaviors, you can create a positive association and discourage excessive licking. Another approach is to provide your dog with mental and physical stimulation through interactive toys and games. These activities help channel their energy and keep them occupied, reducing the likelihood of excessive licking as a result of boredom or anxiety. It's important to remember that consistency and patience are key when training and redirecting behavior. Dogs learn through repetition, so practicing the desired behaviors consistently will help solidify their understanding and response. Positive reinforcement is a powerful tool in dog training. By rewarding your dog with treats, praise, or affection when they exhibit desired behaviors or refrain from excessive licking, you reinforce their understanding of what is expected of them. Training should always be conducted in a calm and supportive environment. Avoid using punishment or negative reinforcement, as it can create fear or confusion in your dog and hinder the training process. In addition to training, redirection techniques can be helpful in managing licking behavior. When you notice your dog starting to lick excessively, gently redirect their attention to a more appropriate activity, such as playing with a toy or going for a walk. Regular exercise and mental stimulation are essential for dogs' overall well-being. By providing them with outlets for their energy and curiosity, you can help reduce anxiety and excessive licking tendencies. Remember, every dog is unique, and what works for one may not work for another. It's essential to understand your dog's individual needs, temperament, and preferences when implementing training and redirection techniques. As we conclude our exploration into the fascinating behavior of dog licking, let's reflect on the joy, love, and companionship these furry friends bring into our lives. Their slobbery kisses are a reminder of the unbreakable bond we share with them. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey. We hope you've gained a deeper understanding of why dogs lick our faces and discovered valuable insights into their behavior. Remember to cherish those wet kisses and continue nurturing the extraordinary relationship between you and your furry companion. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more captivating content, and share it with your fellow dog lovers. We'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Thank you once again for watching and supporting us, and until next time, keep spreading love, joy, and plenty of belly rubs to your furry friends. Take care and remember to always embrace those slobbery kisses.